Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're at the cottage again. Beautiful blue skies, 40 degrees. Weather's great. We'll get them up. So today, I'm outside, of course, and we're gonna do this. This is a, I got a couple of lights in here. These work on solar completely, recharge, turn on and off all by themselves. There's some more information from the outside the box. There's the model number if you want to look it up. And some more, these are the instructions. So you guys look these over carefully and you let me know if I get it wrong, all right? We're gonna put one up uh, on the driveway side here, the back of the house, and one down in the yard in case we see any deer walk through or something, maybe the lights will come on. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, those uh, I was wanting to put up since last summer, but I lost lost them. I put up a couple at home and they're nice. So, well, let's get on with that. We're gonna do that right now. Do it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. So I don't know what I'm gonna need for tools. I just bought a couple things out here. Well, let's open it up. I did kind of creep it open. we not really open anything before. We'll take out one of them. Now here is an extension cable. We're gonna use that. And here is instructions for use. And there is a remote for these. Basically, uh, there's three modes. You can set them to one is like comes on at dusk for an hour and then shuts off. There's one that just comes on when people walk up, but there's another one that does something else. I don't know. I just have it uh, people watching. Got some screws. And some screws for the other one. The cord for the other one. So the other one can go over there. Is that now? How did I do this on the other spot? I forget. Oh, I see. This this will come out of here, and you could take this cord and put it on here, and that's what we're going to do. Extend this out. Might as well just do it right away. The way these work is this, you know, kind of cool. And by the way, these are like uh, 17 bucks a piece when you buy two. They're like 20 bucks a piece if you buy one. So, good price. Stretch out the cord. Plug it in, plug it in. And plug it in. Now it's daylight, so it's not gonna work. The way, the way they work is kind of clever, I guess. Um, this is the solar panel to charge it. It's also the sensor to tell it when it's daylight and when it's not. So when it gets dark, that will allow the light to start to work. And when it's not dark and it's light, it's charging the battery. So that's kind of clever, right? So, the, you know, here's the light. It's got three panels. And it's got a thing here. I think this is the, for this remote. So basically we have to mount this somewhere. We have to mount this somewhere. But I usually mount this under the eaves to kind of protect it a little bit from the weather. And this has to be out in the sun. Uh, I got some screws to do to these. These are Phillips. I bring my Phillips. And uh, there's four screws and six holes to put them in. So that's cool. Nothing but the best. Let's uh, let's let's work on this. All right. First off, we got to figure out where everything's going to go. Uh, your hands full climbing a ladder. That's always the fun part. Willie ball, Willie nut. Fun for you. I didn't say it was fun for me. Ugh. All right. Let's set 
So I'm going to stand, figure out where we're at. All right. There's the gutter. Well, I know, first thing I could probably do is get rid of this. And anyway, we're going to get rid of this. This is in theory a solar light, but you can't get solar and it doesn't give light. So, the main one is tin. This tin is held in. There we go. You can't see anything I'm doing, I suppose. I think if I go like that, put two screws in it, that would work. What do you think? I think that's what we're going to do. Because I need a little drill or a self tapper. Couple holes. Can't give you much of a view. I'm sorry, guys. So, that's going to wiggle a little bit, but this ain't going to bother wiggling, ain't going to hurt anything. It's got some play there, and then this, this strip is screwed on right there. So, uh, some of my other videos you've seen me putting this strip on. So it's not going to leak into the house. So that should be good. So, next part. I'm not going to worry about the running of the wire because that's like a thing that happens in Spain, I think. All right, something like that. The running of the bowls. Oh, wait, I got that wrong. Now, one more step. And uh, can kind of verify where this needs to sit. Okay, not caring about the cord. I mean, like, a little away from the corner. That should light up the area nice. I just. Okay, I got my eye on the spot. Right there. Let's drill there.
Pizzle is going into the wood. That's close enough to where I can drill the second one. My video the other day with having the handsaw with the left hand and this one having to screw on the screws with the left hand. I'm not very left hand, left happy, left hand happy. But let's be getting stronger. Okay, there we crooked. Not bad at all. Screwdriver can hit the ground. Drill. Can go in the flower bucket. All right. Now we have cords. All right. Looks like I can get all of it up there. I need a drip loop. Oh, you know this? Maybe you can't see it in there, but the lights came on as soon as I unplugged the solar panel. So the solar panel, just being up that little while, gave it a, some charge. It's kind of dead, but it gave it some charge, and it turned on the lights because now it doesn't see connected to the solar panel. So I'm gonna hook this back up. Let's see if I can hook this up with one hand. Tricky, tricky. It should go off as soon as it connects. Yep. In there, but it's connected. All right. It's in there good. I want this to go so it'll drip not into the connection, but off of the connection. So, as you can see, the one that cooks the light goes over the top of the one from the charger. And if you let it hang like that, Water will drip down and not bother anybody. Okay. Now I just got to kind of point them where I think I want them. This one I want kind of pretty far that way. So that, you know, uh, hard to see. So that it kind of shines out into the, the yard out there. This one I want not too far this way, but far enough. And for down, it doesn't have to go too far down either because I want it to kind of shine out. Yeah, so let's just give that a shot. I can move it if I need to. But that looks like it's gonna kind of shine over the walkway here. And the other one's straight out. So let's see what that one looks like tonight. Now for our other area. I got this shed in the backyard, which hey, might need some paint. But right here is a good viewpoint for kind of the rest of the yard. And if I put a light here, if there's movement back here, it will light this all up so that the robbers can see where they're going better. I guess. I don't know. But that's what I want to do. This has got to be up somewhere. 
So why not make it up far enough that it doesn't look like it busted off? So I'm thinking up here. So we'll have that up there. And these. Now, strong as this is, strong at all. I'm a little stronger here. But here's the door. I could go right there. Now, I don't know if I trust that. So I think I'm going to get a little block of wood and some shoulder screws. Be right back. And I got a little piece of wood that I'm going to stick behind the inside, hopefully. And then I'm going to screw that on. Okay. This angle a little better. Straight. Ish. I think pretty much straight in is a hole, so you go in that hole there. Okay. I'll take this. I got a little hole, hole drilled in this. Should be a screw sticking out. Okay. Jam it over the screw. At the hole. And the idea is it won't be able to turn because it's going to hit. As I turn it, it'll screw it in. So let's see, it worked on the other one. And it's getting tight. Yay. All right. That's pretty good selling mount. This one's gonna go like pretty much all the way light up the whole outside yard here. This one's gonna go not all the way that way because I do have lights underneath there. So that's kind of lit up. So I wanna kinda of light up the area down in front of that. And then this one's gonna go straight out. So and Pointed pretty much straight out. It should work. All right. So what I got planned here is, if I go through this, this is a single layer of tin that's going to leak. But if I go through this, this is just a shield to cover the bend on the stuff. So I should be able to mount it like, like this. And then it never actually drills into the roof. It just kind of sits on the surface. And I broke off the drill. Let's go fix that. Okay. Nice, fresh, sharp drill. Awesome. Let's see if I can break this one too. I want to see if I can get them all kind of started.
No, it all started. Okay. They all are mounted. That's got a little bit more of an angle on it. You know what? That's a little better. So snow gets on it, it'll kind of melt off. All right, so there's that. Let's do the cord. Let's come around. Straighten this out. Come under here. Let's tire out this. And then I'll come under here. And then under here. I think there's any place to really go. I think I'm going to tie it off right there. I'm just going to wrap this around here a few times. So it's not going to go anywhere. The drip can come down and drip underneath this. And then I'll just take a tie wrap or wrap it around kind of the bundle here. Start charging the battery. And this I'm going to just take and do something with and it has to stay down so I'll probably just add another tie wrap in there and that should be good cut cut there we go Now we can come back and see what this one looks like at night. Well, here we are in the evening. My sunset over the lake. So let's see if the light works. Let's walk over here. Is it dark enough? I don't know what mode it's on. So let's go on, off, on, off. One, two, three, they're not dark enough. I guess we'll just have to put up with this horrible sunset for a while more. All right, wait a little while. Let's see if it works now. Ah, it does. Way too bright for you, I imagine. That was an on button. I got an off button. All right. Then you got mode one. Go on. See, I want to be on. One blink means it's mode one. Two blink. Two blinks is mode two. Three blinks is mode three. So mode three, from dusk it comes on at a low brightness for a while and then goes off. And I think mode two, I don't know what it does. We can look them up. But I believe mode one is the one we want. So if I go hide now, we can't see me. How much it lights up out here. I think that's going to be good. I think I'll point it up a little bit more. It's supposed to be like 20 seconds. Okay, so that went out. Now if I walk over here, it turns on. So, that's the mode I want. Hard to tell for you. 
because it's all glary. But I think that's going to light this up out here really nice. Uh, I put that mattress out there as a reference. That's a white spot out in the middle. So, oh, yeah, then there's that. The natural light show. Well, with the backdrop of the sunset behind me and the little corner of the light we put up on the other side, uh, that's my video for today. Uh, if you like the sunset, give me a thumbs up because sunsets are awesome, especially when they look like that. Uh, if you have any questions about the lights, I'll put a link down below to what the light was. It's an Amazon buy. Um, this is the fourth and fifth one I bought. The other ones have been working for like all winter outside, um, fall, so six months at least. I'm just gonna wiggle a little bit to keep it going. And uh, yeah. Uh, they're awesome. So are the loons. <laughs> I love it up here. Until next time, don't keep your friends in the dark. Bye, everybody.